Hello and welcome to the video version of my journal. I'm Stephanie Rivers. Six people have been arrested in connection with the gang rape of a 15-year-old girl in California. And police say the group of people who stood by without stopping it or calling for help could be facing charges as well. At least one of the bystanders said he didn't report the incident because he was afraid of retaliation. Would he have done the same had the victim been his own family member or a close friend? I doubt it. It's funny how people who are in the position to help others fail to show empathy for those in need. Some U.S. Congress people are guilty of the same behavior when it comes to health care reform. A prime example is a recent bill that was up for debate before the House Energy and Commerce Committee. Committee members had a chance to help lower the cost of prescription drugs by voting for legislation that would give biotechnology companies only five years of exclusive rights to sell a drug before generics could be um, put on the market. And we know if you've ever um, paid for a prescription, you know generic drugs cost um, way less than the name brand drugs and they're just as effective. Well, anybody who has paid for a drug knows that. So you would think that members of Congress um, would make it a no-brainer to want to support shorter exclusivity rights because it would create more competition in the market and that would lower the cost of the prescription drugs for their constituents. Even President Barack Obama proposed seven years as a compromise with the drug companies and the Federal Trade Commission has even argued that there shouldn't even be any exclusivity window for drug company giants. But the Energy and Commerce Committee voted 47 to 11 to change the current legislation from five years to 12 years. That decision is good for drug companies who want to charge sick people more money for a longer period of time for the drugs that could save their lives. And it also gives the drug companies um, less time, well more time in fact, to have no competition in the marketplace for that same product. Well why would a member of Congress support such a measure? Follow the money. I was reading the current issue, the November 2nd issue of Time Magazine, and it said that lawmakers that have biotechnology firms uh, based in their areas, in their districts, and those who get millions of dollars in uh, campaign donations from those firms, um, they prefer to vote for big companies instead of for the little people or the people who voted them into office. Some lawmakers might see parallels in their behavior and the character, uh, one of the characters in the recent Saw 6 movie, if you've seen Saw 6, you know there was an insurance agent who made decisions um, about pe covering people, people who had been paying for insurance for years, they would need to file a claim and that person was in charge of approving their claim or not and he chose to um, not approve some of the claims because he would find loopholes in their insurance coverage to save his own company millions of dollars. Well, I think some of the uh, Congress people, some lawmakers are in that same position and they're choosing big business over the lives of millions of people. While I don't wish for a real life jigsaw experience for members of Congress who put their own self-interest ahead of the people who they have been sworn to uh, represent. I do wish they would see their own family and friends in the faces of the masses and do the right thing because after all the life they save could be that of someone they love. To find out more about what I care about, go to the written version of my journal at eurweb.com. Thanks and have a super day.